I just want to take a moment to appreciate our beautiful Komodo dragons. Look at them. They're so big. Like, it's terrifyingly big. And they're just very, very casually walking towards their little, their little pond. They're scary and beautiful at the same time. Kind of like our bears. <laughs> oh, we're about to have a taper baby. Or oh, they're about to mate anyway. Oh. It reminds me, actually, we've not done a lot of animal renaming because I can see we've got our water buffalo here. And I think, is this, yes, it is. This is our big male. And we haven't even named him. He's still Path, which he was when we got him. So I think it's probably time we do a little bit of animal renaming. And for our big bad buffalo, we've got Bill suggested. So we have Buffalo Bill in our habitat, which I think is very funny. Then for our little baby boy, I think we should have Waterloo. For our other little lad, we're going to have Lenny. If I can spell it. Over here, we're going to have Samwise. And our last male in here, we're going to have Frodo. Look at him. He looks like a Frodo. Over here, we're going to have Shivalva, which I don't know if I'm pronouncing right. And I'm 99% up sure I'm not. We've got a giraffe over here as well that's about to mature. Oh, wow. They're all they're all gathered, ready for the, the ceremony. <laughs> this is a bit interesting. Okay. Um, well, we've got a. She's going to be one of the new... Ooh. Oh, we've got a young adult male here. So here we go. It's getting, it's going to get a bit spicy if we're not careful. I think we're probably going to have to release this male um, who's, I assume, siblings with everyone else. Yeah, they've got all their siblings in here. And then same with Terry. Now Terry's an adult. Oh my goodness. And we still need to decide what we're going to do with Howard because he's, he's young enough that he's not going to be breeding. But it's definitely time to release Terry into the wild. <laughs> Wow, look at him. 158 credits. That's amazing. Goodbye, Terry. And Fonsani is also going to go. Wow, he's worth 225. Now over here in our, with our horse habitat, I think our male has to be called Spirit, which was one of the suggestions very early on, and I think is a very good name. Then next to Spirit, we're going to have Theo. We are also going to have Ellie and a very noisy keeper who's refilling the uh, the fake keeper feeder. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We've got a baby horse in here as well. Oh, look how adorable they are. Wow. I don't know whether they're al albino or just very pale. I think it might just be their coloring. I don't think they are. Um, no, I think it's just their colouring, but they're very, very cute. And I think they should be called George. Then over here, we're going to have Coconut and Lily. And then finally, I think we'll rename our Komodo dragons. So the male is going to be Gummy, because I think that's funny. <laughs> and our female is going to be Kim. Uh-oh, we're about to uh, inbreed. I think we're going to put them on contraceptives, although he's only three... Uh, years old on male so perhaps oh he's not our male is he i think he's one of the boys that's grown up yeah oh we've got a couple in here that's not good koi and unica or unica are the two that need to be released into the wild so i'm going to release them now i can get 35 credits for koi which isn't bad and 16 that's not too bad we'll take that as well it's something isn't it um, and then we can check on how many males we've got and we can see that it's just the one. We've got a young male here, but he's fine. He's not matured yet. Um, so it's just Bramble living living his best life with all his, all his ladies. It's so funny how they have like one male and then so many females. I thought something was misplaced then. It was like floating. It's the, uh, it's the hanging feeder. Oh, look at Howard. Okay, so... I've seen what you guys have been saying in the comments, and I think we should keep Howard, but move him to a different habitat so we can keep our like normal conservation breeding of the uh, of the giraffes here, but move Howard into a different habitat or create his own one. And I thought a really good place to put him actually is with our scimitar horned oryx, because they have an interspecies bonus uh, with with the giraffe. So if we get up. The, oh, and both ways, it, it goes both ways. Let's get the giraffe up, interspecies bonus. 
the oryx. And I think the oryx is the only other um, animal that we're going to have in this zoo, other than the lechwe, that are also endangered, so... Or extinct in the wild. Although some of you are saying in the comments that the oryx isn't extinct in the wild anymore, which is amazing to hear. Oh dear. Pause. Oh, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. We've got our oh, males are fighting, which must mean we've one of them's grown up. Yeah, Lenny. Lenny thinks he's he's ready to go toe to toe with his big pops, Bill. And looking at the size of them, I don't think you are, Lenny. Um, we're going to have to release you into the wild. He's gold, so he's going to be great. 64. That's pretty good. All right. Off he goes. We have to keep an eye on these. Oh, that's the shared wall. Um, I think... Oh, you need to up the food quality when we can as well. We may perhaps just need some more staff generally for the zoo now. So we've got a few young males in here, but that's fine. Um, I'm going to pause. Let's have a look at the staff we have. Um, because I don't think... Yeah, we've only got three vets. You could probably do with another vet. And I think you guys are saying, yeah, we've, we've not got many caretakers. I'm going to get one more caretaker. Um, just because it says that it's fine. Or maybe we'll get two, because they're very cheap. Let's get two more caretakers, assign them to the whole zoo, and get another vet as well. Uh, where is vet? Vet's there. Right. And then we can have another vet that's doing research as well. And now we've got another one. We could just set the new one to do some research. And I think maybe we should have that on... Who, who's not been researched much? The pangolins haven't got much. Neither of the bears. They've been here longer. Maybe we should go for the bears. Because we would like to get some better food quality for everyone. I know, like, they've got enrichment and stuff. But the food quality is also important. And we haven't really done much of that. But yeah, I think we could probably just extend this habitat back a bit and then add some giraffes into here. Okay, so looking at females as well, we've got a couple of reasonably priced female giraffes that he could eventually breed with. So I am tempted to, we could even move one of the females across from the other habitat. Um, and then we can kind of have like two, because I think they need to be in groups of three at minimum anyway. So let's get this female, because she's quite cheap for a giraffe. Um, and then... Maybe we should get this one as well. Let's get another giraffe. Okay, we've got two female giraffes. I'm going to send them to quarantine. Um, so they can check for sickness. And then let's move Howard across when they're done. And I think we should probably just expand this habitat back and maybe out to make it a little bit bigger so it can actually accommodate these guys. Okay, I think that's quite a lot of extra room. Um, hopefully that hasn't messed up their terrain too much. No, they're still happy with it because they like the long grass, but we're going to have to change that when the giraffes go in. And um, we probably want to expand this water area a little bit. And it's already, oh, it's over here. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to actually extend this area um, by removing the water and then adding a little bit of extra area. <laughs> Okay, I think that's decent. That'll do. It's just a little bit bigger. And uh, hopefully, our, hopefully our animals can still access it over here. If we just smooth it out a bit more as well. So that it's it's not too much of a, a decline to get to the water. I think they can all reach that though. That's not too steep. And we've done some vet research, which is good. Oh, our iguanas are cracking on. That's good. When we get them to full, we can go and edit all their uh, exhibits to make them to make it as good as it can be for them. What I think I do as well is I think I'll expand the nature and everything when we actually get the uh, get the giraffes in here. So it can just be a bit of a big habitat for now and then we'll we'll make it a bit bigger a bit later. Oh my goodness, we've got another another animals fighting. I think our other buffalo has a uh, yeah, Waterloo. Waterloo's grown up. Goodness, these are aggressive, aren't they? We're going to release Waterloo into the wild. Which is uh, 46 credits. It's pretty good. I'm sure your other children will be after you soon, Bill. Um, stop having boys. That's that's the moral of the story, is just have girls, and then you won't have these issues. Got Frodo and Samwise eyeing you up. They're gonna take the ring to Mordor and then come, come for you, my friend. 
So the next thing we need to do, I have no idea what I'm saying. So the next thing we need to do is sort out our penguins because but these are getting a little bit out of control. I'm going to pause the game. Right, we've got quite a lot of infertile because they're old penguins. Then we've got quite a lot of breeding penguins. And then we've got hopefully some young adults, which we can release to the wild to at least somewhat manage this because it's getting a little crazy. Okay, so I'm going to go down to where we've just had um, bait, like the ones that are adults, but they're at the bottom of the adult list. Over 100 credits, 118 credits is pretty good. 777 credits. That's insane. I say what, what, let's leave it until the elderly ones die. And then maybe in the next episode or the one after that, we'll come back and release some more. Because that's given us quite a lot of credits. And if we need more credits, we can always release more into the wild as well. We've got an animal talk without power. Oh my goodness, why is that? Is that because something's broken? Or no? Is it just suddenly moved? <laughs> why? Why is it suddenly not got power? Okay. Let's just move it in, into the power zone. There we go. Now everyone's happy again. That's weird. Um, our giraffes have passed quarantine though, so that's good. So let's move both of them into their new habitat, which is the Scimitar Horned Oryx habitat. I might change the habitat name to be the Oryx and giraffes, just so we remember. Is that how you spell giraffes? I think so. Yes. And then we need to move Howard across as well. So let's grab Howard. Got so many giraffes in here now, it's amazing. Um, and we need a new male giraffe to keep breeding with all of these. So let's move Howard to here. And then we're gonna buy a new male giraffe. Ooh, no we're not, they're quite expensive. <laughs> we're gonna wait and get one when there is one. Oh my goodness. How have you escaped, my little friend? How? How did you do that? I have no idea how you could get out of this. I don't know if you've just like glitched through the wall somehow, but we're going to emergency capture you. So I guess don't panic. And then uh, hope that that gets resolved. <laughs> because this is literally just a full on wooden barrier. So I don't know how that happened. Maybe it's my fault. Okay, I'm going to move you there. So you're within the power radius. Uh, maybe it's because they're not generating as much power or something. Um, and they're right at the edge of their zone. Ooh, okay, we need the vet, you're sick. And you're pregnant, that's not good. Uh, one thing you guys mentioned as well is that the horses could have a bigger habitat and perhaps less trees and stuff. So I think what I might do very quickly is just expand their habitat to take on this room back here. And then we can spread the trees out a bit more as well. And then it won't be kind of as clustered for them. Oh no. Oh, that's the same animal, we know, we know. Okay, thank you. He's already been captured. We're all good. We're all good. Okay, let's see if they can break out. Okay, we've got a few jumpable escape points. We just need to raise the barriers around these areas. Okay, so that is solid. They can't get out of there. Let's just move the trees around. Okay, I think that's good. We've moved them around now. They've got a lot more open space and they've got a lot more room generally. So they should have... Yeah, it's calculating now. Okay, loads of space. They're happy with the coverage. It's a lot lower now as well. And, uh, you know, I know I know some of you had said as well that like some of the trees and stuff wouldn't necessarily be found in their natural habitat, but it seems like they're fine with them as well. So I'm going to leave them in. Um, Ooh, we've got some lemurs that are hungry. It's perhaps because the keepers aren't on top of the feeding. 
Hmm, okay. This seems to be a bit of a problem. Let me click on this little guy and see what the pro what the issue is. Because we weren't having this before, so I don't know whether it's... Ooh, our giraffes are in. I think there's an issue with the baby ones where they're able to escape somehow. Look at our giraffes. <gasps> and Howard's here. Look at him. Oh my goodness. These babies keep escaping somehow. Okay, well, there's no way for the animals, to, for the adults to get out, which is good. The babies seem to be able to get out somehow, and I'm not quite sure how they're doing it. Um, we may need to block it off somehow. When we get one back in, we'll have a look at where they can escape from, and then we'll block it off. All of our lemurs are hungry, but the keeper is here trying to feed them, so I think that'll probably stop soon. I don't know whether they're just overworked or something. Yeah, they've got quite a lot to do, so perhaps we should... Um, perhaps our new staff will help out with that. Um, I'm trying to think what this is. This thing, this is Africa entrance, isn't it? Or Africa middle. Maybe we just need another keeper on it. Uh, where? Who's doing Africa... Africa middle. They seem happy though. I think maybe it's just a bit of a, a one-off because we've been moving some stuff around. Um, so we'll, we'll see how they go, but it seems like they're okay. It, I think a lot of our stuff just needs to keep being trained up as well because a lot of these have like high workloads, but it could just be that they're not that great at their jobs yet. So <laughs> that could be why. Right, let's have a look. How are you getting out, my little friend? Okay, you seem to be getting out here somehow. With a symbol that they don't quite know because I think it's just a bit of a bug with the game. I'm going to put a new barrier in, see if that fixes it. Okay, can you get out? No, you can no longer get out. So that was weird. Um, but hey, we've got them all now. <laughs> uh, they're all in. I think we should probably uh, rename our giraffes as well now that we've got... Oh, he's going for it. Can you get out? It says you can't get out. Ah, there you go. They're stumped. Yeah, now you run the other way. Now that you don't know what to do. This one as well, they're going for it. They're like, oh, I'm going to run out again. I'm going to run out again. Oh, I can't. Yeah, that's right. That's right, Rashidi. I bested you. <laughs> okay, so let's rename our giraffes now. This beautiful giraffe over here is going to be called Beanstalk, which I think is funny. And this giraffe is going to be called Pippi Longstocking, which is a great reference, if I can spell it. <laughs> now, the terrain isn't amazing for the giraffe, so we're going to have to edit the terrain now to make sure that it's, it's kind of painted the correct uh, soil types. So now the soil's all good, but we do need hard shelter. So I'm going to add another hard shelter in, and I'm going to use one of the ones that we were using before, which is this very big one, which is a, a 24 by 24 by 8, just because it, it covers the giraffes well, and it'll give the others a bit more shelter too. I think we might put it over here on the back, uh, because it's not like the, the pride of the habitat, um, but it is, it is going to be useful for them to have some shelter. And then we need to add in some bedding. There we go. Hopefully that's good enough for them now. Yep, they've got 100%. They're happy with the trees as well, although I think we should add a few more in for this area. So tropical uh, grassland Africa, and they're the same with desert grassland Africa. So I think we'll just take out the tropical and then we'll go with that. Okay, and they're very happy with the plants now, as are our, um, our oryx. So everyone's happy. That's everything. They do need some enrichment of food, so we'll just quickly add that in now. I 
Okay, let's see whether they like that or not. Um, they seem fairly happy. Yeah, they even get the interspecies bonus from 20%, which is awesome. One thing we do need to quickly check is that they can't uh, escape from the barriers. Like, the barriers are high enough. Yeah, they are. Okay, cool. That's good to know. So, they're all sorted. Although, we do need to add some more of a, like, extend our path along here. Uh, so that guests can see them and add in a couple of little education facilities so that guests know what the giraffes are. Okay, now we've got a bit of a uh, bit of giraffe and a bit of oryx education going on. I think if we just add another one in here. That should be uh, good as well. Uh, I'm not doing anything crazy. Oh, it's not got power here. Ah, uh, perhaps we'll just delete this one and uh, convert this one into the giraffes. Ooh, and we've got a habitat education board that's not being powered properly. Um, I wonder whether it's like the range of this has been reduced. Um, 33 to 36. Um, it could just be, yeah, I think it's because the, it's, its health has gone lower. So it's going to get back into power soon. Um, we've also had some vet research completed. So our iguanas are cracking on, which is what we like. They're doing really well. The pygmy hippo's habitat needs cleaning. I think, again, this is maybe another sign that we need some more cleaners um, because the caretakers also do help clean up. And we've got a lot of keepers and not as many caretakers. And caretakers are very cheap. I'm going to throw another two caretakers into the zoo and we can add them to the zoo work zone. Well, I hope you guys liked this episode. If you did, please give it a like. It really helps the channel out and I'll see you in the next one.